In this video, we're going to tie a fly called the Moorish Hopper. This is an ultra realistic hopper pattern that's actually a lot easier to tie than uh, it looks, but it requires some prep work. And the prep work all comes in making the uh, body. That's really what uh, all the time is in. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take two pieces of two millimeter tan foam and one piece of yellow foam and you're going to use some super glue um, or zap -a gap to glue them all together. Uh, I like to do uh, one sheet at a time and then put a weight on them uh, and just squish them all together and let them dry. And then you can use either a um, cutting a uh, little cutting die there, um, the Chernobyl rounded end uh, one is the one I like. Uh, or you can just cut them yourselves. You can cut a little diamond shaped body. Uh, I like to use the stamp and then I cut my um, body from the stamp. It gives you a nice even guide uh, to start with. And then you're going to cut a diamond body with the length or with the the tail or the butt of the hopper being longer than the front. So you're going to have a diamond with just a longer back uh, and you want to taper them as evenly as you can on each side. And then you're going to come through and you can see I've rounded all the corners. I've just come in with my scissors and I've kind of rounded those sharp edges right off. Uh, and it takes a little bit of time. Just round all those corners, top, bottom, both sides. And then I cut a little butt with my tip of my scissors and you want to round all those corners off of the butt as well and then I've cut a little head uh, and all you do is take a razor blade you make one vertical cut right up there by the head and then one angular cut going towards um, the head and you get a nice little hopper head so once you have your bodies formed that's really the hardest part. I'm going to take some tan thread and I'm going to lay it down on a 5212 hopper hook. And I've kind of made my thread spiraled. And I've done that just to create some ridges, something to have that super glue bite to. Then I'm going to take my thread towards the front uh, of the hook here. I'm not going to go all the way forward. I'm going to stop just Oh, three uh, hook eye lengths away from the eye of the hook. And you want to make sure your body's long enough. You want the head to just sit right above uh, the eye. Then you're going to cut a slit right down the middle of your hopper body. And you want to cut it all the way through that first uh, layer of foam. You want to make sure it's deep enough for your whole entire hook shank to sit in. So I found that if you cut through that first layer, it should be just enough. Then you're going to take some super glue and put it on your thread wraps. And you're going to take your, your body and you're just going to slide it over the shank of the hook there, all the way down in there. Then you're going to squeeze that body together. And you're just going to hold it there. The idea here is we're going to glue it to the shank of the hook. Each side of the foam will be glued. You want to hold it there just long enough to where it, it grabs to the hook. I'm going to taper my body here just a little bit more. I probably could have tapered it more before I put it on. That would have made things a little easier. There we are. Now we're going to take our first thread wrap right up there by the head and I'm going to take it just past my diamond cut. So you can see there I have my, my thickest part of the body. I want to go just behind the thickest part of the body on the fly. Then once I've done that I can just let my thread 
hang nicely off the body. Now the first thing we're going to tie in is going to be our little hot spot which I'm just going to use a little piece of red foam and I'm going to put it right on top of the hopper making sure it's as even as you can get it right on top. Then I'm going to take my legs I'm going to take two grizzly barred rubber legs and I'm going to tie a knot in them and then rubber or uh, super glue those rubber bands together right at the knot or the rubber legs I should say then we're just going to take it and we're going to tie it in right on the side of the hook I want those knot that knot on the legs to be just shorter than the body. I'm going to do that here on the other side as well. And your thread wraps should not be too tight. They should be somewhat loose. If you make your thread wraps too tight you'll bite through the foam which is not what we want to do. There we are. Once you have your legs where you want them, you can do another wrap just to secure them. Then I'm going to fold that foam back. I'm going to jump it forward to the head. Then you can trim your your legs. Whoopsie. There we are. Trim your legs and then you're going to trim one of the pieces off of the back leg. Just like that. Then we're going to take two more legs and we're just going to tie a knot in a single leg. And we're going to tie those in right up here at the front. You want these to be about the same length as your back legs. And they're going to intersect the back legs about halfway in between where we tied in the back legs and where the knot is. Then once you have those tied in, you can fold down your bright piece of foam and capture it. Then you're just going to whip finish over all of that front part and you can pull it tight and trim it out of there now we're going to have to trim all our legs we're going to trim our front legs so they reach off the front of our hopper we're going to trim our middle legs And we're going to trim our back legs. And you can manipulate the legs however you like. I kind of like them all splayed out. And you're going to drop some super glue. On each those wraps where we tied in our legs and that'll keep everybody nice and secure and then you can take your magic marker and just put an eye right at the front of the hopper and that is a finished Moorish hopper. It's a great little 
hopper pattern, very, very deadly. Can be tied in a lot of different color variations. That is the yellow and tan hopper. Um, it can be tied in pinks, purples, tans, olives, um, basically whatever, whatever color you can imagine. That is the Moorish hopper.